Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. Lock is a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook as we continue now on the third Sunday of Easter in the middle of the Easter season as we give honor and praise to God for him being our risen king. Today I want to focus on the second reading that we're going to hear at Mass from 1 Peter in chapter 1. We hear that St. Peter says, You know that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without defect or blemish. Christ was destined before the foundation of the world, but was revealed at the end of the ages for your sake. Through him you have come to trust in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory so that your faith and hope are set on God. These beautiful words that the Holy Spirit has given us through the example and witness of St. Peter, friends, remind us of the fact that Jesus is our firm foundation He is the one who is the only stability in our lives. Family and friends will come and go. They'll be loving and loyal in one moment and betray us in the next. Friends will have our back when it is going well and perhaps flee from us when we need the most. Our health is good for a while and then may move sideways or backwards. We have government that at times seems to have our support and our back and at other times leave us by ourselves. The only stability we have in our life is Jesus Christ, who is our Lord, our God, and our King. When we hear this beautiful passage, especially talking about that our salvation was bought by the precious blood of Christ. This reminds us, friends, of this intimate union between God and us, and how St. Peter wants to remind us that we should never place our trust in things that come and go. He uses the example of silver or gold. Today we might think of it as money, our life savings, or our assets that we have, house, car, work, whatever. It's important that we realize that our foundation is in Christ alone. Recall that beautiful hymn, In Christ alone my hope is found. He is my rock, my source of strength. What does that mean for you, friends? How often have you realized this truth? I know sometimes in my life I have to learn the hard way. It's easy at times to forget that Jesus is my foundation when I'm so busy in my day-to-day life that I forget to take the time to thank him, to stop what I'm doing, and to enter into prayer. It can be so easy for me to take Jesus for granted because even when I push him aside, I know he's always going to be there. And yet, this is unfair in my relationship with God. Perhaps you can relate to that as well. It's important for each of us to not only identify the presence of God in our life, but to turn to him as our firm foundation. He should be the first person I turn to in times of need. He should be the first person I turn to in time of joy and celebration and thanksgiving for what he does for me, because everything I receive is a gift from God. It's not something that I've done for myself. Rather, it is God working through me. And so, Christ being the firm foundation. Very traditional hymn is, The church's one foundation is Jesus Christ her Lord. Indeed, this is true. And we need these visual reminders. We need these hymn lyrics. We need these opportunities of grace to remind ourselves, like the first chapter of St. Peter's letter reminds us, that indeed Jesus is our firm foundation. And as a result, friends, it is so imperative for us 
to utilize this truth in our daily living, to bring us hope in times of despair, to lift us up when we feel down, and also to keep us focused on the prize of salvation, which is given to us through the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And so as we enter into this third week of Easter, friends, I pray that each of us realize that Jesus is our firm foundation, that we have nothing to be afraid of, and that through Christ all things are possible. Lord, as we hear about the passage from Emmaus, as we hear of this passage from St. Peter, we thank you for your presence in our lives and for always being with us even at times where we may not realize. You are the foundation, the very core of our lives. For that, we are grateful. Friends, for God's Playbook, I'm Father Rico. Happy Easter. God loves you, and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.